All right, so we got always on the, uh, the button. Here's the bench test. Some motors got it plugged into a lipo, the button. We're working just fine. And that's on the ground one, right? So now we're gonna go from always on to toggle. And then we're gonna write application, confirmed. Two motors spinning. That's the splitter from Maker X. And there's the button. Let's turn it off. Boom. That's off. Turn it on. Two motors. Let's go, boom. Connected. Um, I don't know. What are we looking at? It's connected. How do we read? Read app configuration. This is toggle button. Oh, and while we're at it, let's check the uh, firmware. There's the firmware. Um, okay. All right, here I am again. I've disconnected the good old um, untrustworthy tramper. Sorry, tramper, but uh, sometimes you suck. And I've got this really cool uh, Zemo that I got plugged in, and I've just run detection. And that is using, rather than using the UART from the splitter, it's using that PPM port. And that is the um, uh, freaking receiver. And that's all connected up. And I'm just going to toggle this. And that seems to be working just fine. I should do a review on this. Maybe I should have read the instruction manual before I started using it. Oh, there you go. How's that? Ice blue. What else do we have? Whoa! Disco! Does this still work? This still work. It's cool. Okay. All right, I'll stop freaking around with all these disco colors. The cover's not on. Don't worry, more content on that. But uh, I think the main point is that I'm gonna test this on off switch, so. All right, now that's not working, okay? So then we're going to go over here and we're going to go murder, I don't want murder, we want the general, okay, so that's flagged as always on, but I'm looking at this side, right, and that's the wrong side, so the USB is plugged in there. So I'm going to change it to the local side. Okay, uh, and still always on. We're going to go toggle button. And then we're going to go right app configuration. It's still working. It's still doing its epileptic fit over there. And here's the button. Off. Right, so that's not connected, and I'm getting a disconnection on there. Let's turn it back on again. That's stopped, that's turned on, that's on, ESC is on, and do both motor spin. Break. Okay, 
So um, if you're having trouble, uh, I know there's a few posts going around with the Maker X stuff at the moment. So this is just a, a quick video, right? Unofficial ZFG video, just to maybe it helps you guys troubleshoot it. But um, my recommendation is get on the latest firmware. I'm using V6 and that is working an absolute treat. I can do it on a, um, a UART style remote or on, don't fall in the freaking crack, or on the PPM style remote. And, um, we've got here, button off, disconnected. Beep, beep. Now we go button on, ESC on, connected. I made a funny noise. I got nothing else for you guys. Good luck. Um, keep persisting. I know it's challenging and programming an ESC can be a pain in the ass, but it does work. And I hope this helps you folks out. Cheers.